What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Reaction Gig Economy. And as always, we them boys. Remember that. We them boys. Remember that. Um, on the way back home so we can watch the Eagles, who should be flying over the Texans. But that's not why we're watching we're watching because Dak Prescott will be getting yeah. <laughs> we got to watch the whole game. Well, actually, we got to keep hope, hope alive. Keep hope alive. Um, and shout out to Brother Roz. Brother Roz, the anti-cowboy. That's right. The anti-cowboy. He just actually tweeted at me or sent me a message that Tyron Smith is three to four three to four weeks away from being able to play that they're going to be opening up his uh, practice not 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 the game not the game but his practice window very soon his practice window Tyron Smith who? oh lord okay alright did you say Tyler Smith? Tyrone Tyron no, no, it's Smith Ty, it's just Tyler Smith Tyron Smith it's Tyler Tyler doesn't need a practice window. He's already practicing. No, no, that, that's why I say. And he's it. in the game. The game. Yeah, he's uh, playing well. Yes, but very well. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along. Moving right along, just like we are down the road. We have <laughs> Jerry Jones. <clears throat> Jerry Jones, who likes to stir shit. You know, I love to have people talking. I just love to have people talking. And you know, you got to you got to stir that shit up. You got to stir it up. You know, because he wanted to have a quarterback controversy, but unfortunately, he didn't. But what he does have, <laughs> he's got a Halloween costume controversy here. Now, I know you saw it. Okay. He, he, you know, quite frankly, I, I think it was, you know, one of those passive aggressive costumes because we know, oh, I did a video early this week about Micah Parsons being pissed because he's literally held every other play. I mean, around the neck, pulling him back and everything. He literally got thrown oh. to the ground. What? What? So what? But he's still making plays? Right. And, but here's the thing he was on the backside of a play and the guy literally. Threw, threw him down. He gets up, breath. You, you're right there. He's like, well, it was on the backside of the play. It, it, you know, it, it didn't have any effect, dude. We're talking about Micah Parsons here. There is no play that you can say he's out of. Against the Lions, he was upfield. He chased that play down from the back, forced the fumble on the one yard line. In which case. They fumbled the next play and went on to go ahead and just destroy him. So you can't say, well, it's on the backside. He couldn't do it. No, this brother can go anywhere. So, of course, Jerry Jones, his Halloween costume, he's wearing referee stripes. Okay, he's got himself a cane and he's got dark sunglasses. Okay, as a joke, basically saying that the officials are blind. They are when it comes to the Cowboys. They are blind when it uh, comes uh, to. Don't what? forget about Tom Brady. The blind one because Tom oh, Brady shit. this year. Well, okay. Yeah, well, they, they, they probably are working for Giselle. <laughs> so here's the thing. He could actually be getting sued. The, I can't remember the name, but basically the Blind Federation is saying it's unfortunate that Jerry Jones went out there and is trying to, to say that people who are blind are incompetent. If, if, if he does get sued, he might sell out. Wow, look at that RV. Damn. That's a um, bus. That, that really was a bus. Um, no, he'll, he'll, he'll sell out of court, though. I don't think Jerry Jones thought that much about it. And I don't think that he meant to say that blind people are incompetent. But, and I got to be careful myself because I, you, 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 everything is, everybody's really sensitive. See, but when I grew up, we used to say, sticks and stones can break my bones. 
but names will never hurt me. You know, that, that's what we grew up on. I mean, we get called all kinds of things and all that, and you just kind of dust it off and move on. But, you know, they come at you with a stick, that's when you had to worry. But now words hurt people. We're, we're more sensitive now than when I grew up. But I don't think Jerry Jones was trying to make a statement that blind people to say that they're incompetent. However, there are some jobs that, I mean, as an NFL official, you have to be able to see to make the calls. Uh, there, there is no braille on the football or on the field so you can do that job. So, I don't know. Uh, and, and let me actually back up on this whole thing because I'm going to end up getting myself in trouble. But I don't think Jerry Jones was trying to make a blanket statement that blind people are incompetent because they certainly are not incompetent. What he was trying to say is the Dallas Cowboys never get calls that everybody in the world sees. We watch game after game after game, and we're like, there's a hold. 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 And we don't get a call. We see our quarterbacks get jacked up, hit in the head, face masks. None of them. One time. That Prescott's face mask was turned. Yeah, to the comes side. up. Yeah, look, like, <laughs> literally, he comes up and his helmet is sideways. You're looking. His ear hole is almost on his nose. And he's like, dude, dude. <laughs> That's what Jerry Jones is trying to say. So, it is what it is. But back to Tyron Smith. Go ahead, Mike. Who? Yeah, you know, when I grew up. My dad used to call the television the idiot box. So I see you're there just sitting in front of that damn idiot box. What? That's what he used to call the TV, the idiot box. So these are idiot boxes on steroids. Same game. Same game. But anyway, Tyron Smith. Now, this is going to bring up something interesting now. Do we believe... The, the problem with Tyron Smith is... He's become Romo-esque. Incredible player when he's out there and healthy. But you just don't know for how long. Now, I will say, usually what happens with Tyron Smith is he starts out the season pretty good. And then by midway or somewhere there without, he ends up getting injured and it's not the same. If Tyron Smith is 100% healthy, the Cowboys offensive line can use I know you're looking, you're shaking the head like, oh, okay. You know, that could be the extra firepower that helps break open some more holes. And um, I believe that with the money that he's making, that they will end up putting him in there. Maybe he ends up playing some guard because the left guard position is truly the weakest link on the offensive line. And I don't know. Um, the one thing I will say, there's a big difference of going from right tackle to left tackle. See, last year when they ended up taking um, Terrence Steele, who was in a sophomore season, was getting comfortable at right tackle, they switched it to the left. That's a major shift. Everything's reversed. If you don't believe me, go if you're right-handed, right and try and write with your left hand there. Just try it. Just try it, okay? You'll understand because that's what it's like shifting sides on the offensive line. But playing guard on the left side and the tackle, everything still comes from that other side. It's still those first steps. It's easier to go from right to I'm excuse me, left tackle to left guard than it would be if you were going to the other side of the field. And since he practiced that as before Tyron Smith went down, to me, you may want to consider putting him at guard because he is a road grader. And you get him lead blocking on some stuff downfield, oh my God. It would be like better than Lyle Collins. Okay? Lyle Collins, when he was a guard, should have stayed a guard, but he wanted to be a tackle to get the money. But when he could pull, 
he'd end up jacking somebody up and then looking for another person to jack up. And you could have that with Tyler Smith as well as Zach Martin. Oh, man. You start doing the peak traps. You start doing uh, the draws and get those guys pulling around people and coming around that edge. Oh, man. It could be good. But then again, I'm an idiot and a scammer, as Judge Judy would say. We'll see you guys when I get back to the kid to, to the house. Got anything to add? Nothing to add. Alright, you got plans for the weekends. So hope you have a good time. I got plans too. Work. Peace.